All right, we are here with Heartland head football coach Thomas Stevenson for our weekly chat. Um, of course, uh, the Brighton game did not go the way that you wanted overall. Just kind of recap that game. Um, the Brighton game was it started off as good as we could have started off. You know, we, we started on defense like we wanted. We forced a turnover. Offense went down and scored. We got some stops defensively at the beginning, and then we scored again, and we got out to a nice lead, and you know everything was going good. Brighton converted a big third down and took it to the house, and um, that kind of took the wind out of our sails a little bit. And then they proceeded to score, you know, 28 unanswered points in a period of about six minutes. So that was something that we talked about. Like you guys were can playing competitively. We were we were battling with them, and you know we let we let a certain stretch of time in that football game dictate the outcome. And we need to do a better job at overcoming that and dealing with that adversity while it's happening, and, and to limit the bleeding, so to speak. Yeah, uh, of course, going in a big game this week against Howell. Um, homecoming is uh, this week as well, so. You know, with all the distractions with that thing, what's uh, what's been the vibe like? Um, you know, this week after after a tough loss to Brighton, what, what do you feel like you guys got to do to get a win against Howell? These guys got to understand. The focus for us is to um, win the football game on Friday night. That's our job. Our job's not to win the Spirit Day. Our job isn't to win the tug of war in the assembly. Our job isn't to win uh, to become homecoming king. Our job is to show up on Friday night and play our best football game. You know, past alumni, cheerleaders, band members, community members, everyone comes back to watch the football game. And, you know, that's a big point of emphasis for me to the players and from the rest of the coaches and players is our job is Friday night at 7 o'clock. Everything else, we got to block it out. we got to enjoy it. But we got to be focused on the task at hand, and that's Friday night at 7 p.m. What, what impresses you about, you know, of course, about Howell's offense? Because, of course, they're, you know, they're running the wing tee. What do you feel like you guys got to do uh, to combat that? I mean, they're they're incredibly physical, and, and you can see that on film. And you know when you make the choice to to play power T football, um, like I I love the fact that they're going for it on fourth down, and you're essentially telling your team we need two and a half yards of carry every play. If we do that, we're going to be in good shape. So I love what they're doing. Um, it's toughness, it's it's grit, um, and we got to match that level of physicality to to try to slow them down and to limit them and force them into some some unwanted errors. I think that's our that's going to be our MO and you know in the years past when we we kind of cracked the code against Canton that's what we had to do and we needed to match that physicality and, and it's not just matching it Friday night at seven it's matching the physicality every day throughout the week um, in preparation for Friday night so the kids are, are used to it so that's what we're going to try to do today and tomorrow and Thursday and um, I have no doubt these guys are going to fight we're going to we're going to give it our best shot we're going to be as physical as we can be with them and um, it's going to be a great night on Friday. All right, Thomas Stevenson, thank you so much, and we'll talk to you next week. Sounds good, Casey. Thank you.